I got a bunch of frames um, from regular shops and two from Ikea. Let's see what is going to work best for my artworks. Looking forward to this. So the first work, the day 21, um, I bought like a nice small square one just in the, in the regular shop and oh, aha, doesn't fit, so we leave it up there. Um, this is the Ikea one and I put the mat on underneath it as you can see. Um, oh, and it's, it looks nice. Um, and this would be a frame by a professional framer. Um, I would make it a few centimeters or millimeters smaller so it fits better. I do have to say that looks actually nicer. Um, a frame like this one costs, what, around maybe 30 euros, inclu inclusive shipping from the factory. So yeah, for a little artwork, that is around uh, 100 euros, you could spend 30 euros on, on a professional one. On the other hand, I do get it if you are on a budget, then this one here in Spain is it's six euros plus what, four euros shipping or whatever. Okay, day, um, what is it, 22, uh, this one. The first one that is an eye and with a lot of things happening on the background. I hope you can see it really well. Uh, once again, let's check. Yep, <laughs> again, this is the nicest option. But let's, let's check the big one from Ikea as well. So this is, this is huge, but that's not so bad, is it? Yeah, I, I kind of like it, definitely. And on this one, let's just check. I want to help you with this, so that's why I do all the, all, the, all the checking, so that I can give you some sound advice, and you can see what you like best. It's not bad either. Yeah, I could definitely live with the cheaper option, um, if... If that was my budget, then, you know, fine, surely. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, we're getting to a nice eye on wood as well. Mm, let me check. Oof, again, one of the... Ooh, it's a perfect size. Look at that, it's perfect. I would perhaps buy it in, in wood, rather than in black. <clears throat> or maybe not. And how about white? Let's check white. I didn't have space on my uh, desk anymore, as you can see. Mess is more, as usual. White. Yeah, perhaps. I don't know. Perhaps. Hmm. Do like maybe maybe a dark wood made by the professional framer would be the nicest. All right, um, then we get to, I love this one. The color choice, ooh, gets me all tingly, and I'm so proud of it. I love how it just has like uh, all these details, and then it has a, a clear lines on top of them. So let's go here as well. Let's, I like this, this is good. This is beautiful. Um, and how would you put it there? I would say you can glue this um, just with a few dots so that if you're in a future time somewhere you would want to put it in another frame that you can. This is beautiful too. It's very gentle and, and very subtle. right? And then I'll place my desk. But the more space you have, 
the more you fill it. At least that's what I do. This is good too. Hmm. It's going to be difficult. It is, isn't it? Huh. Now, this would be my lesser option. No, don't think so. All right, so that's that. And then the last day, it will be this one. But you know what? It's already sold. So, um, yeah, I think we skip it. Um, oh, I can go back to one that was not sold from one of the previous sessions. Let's see. Oh, I might use. How about this? That's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, disclaimer, they're not super straight. They're all hand cut uh, by moi. And uh, I'm not a woodworker. And I think it's, it's okay to see that there was a human hand doing that. I like this. How, uh, how would it look with wood? Or with black, I mean. It's good too. Hmm. And these are just three standard colors that were there in, in the in that shop. This is way too big. Why don't why it doesn't tick my clock? But how about if we take the mat out and then you put it could work. It could work, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah. So, I hope this little video has helped you uh, to get some ideas how to frame it. Um, you will enjoy them.